foremost, I'd like to acknowledge the parents and family members who have contributed to raising the person they see standing or they will see standing on this stage today. So give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. Because you, you contributed to this. Allow me to look back at junior year, when the hallways had become accustomed to us and we were halfway done with high school, or so it seemed. It was a year of constant study and difficult assessments. We soon realized that our adult lives were around the corner. Continuous letters from colleges reminded us that our plans for the future were close. Now was the time to act. Throughout junior year, it was drilled in our heads the need to excel on the ACT exam, striking us with fear on its significant importance. This vital exam seemed as a huge, ultimate assessment of our high school education. Yet today, we don't think about it because it's time to leave all our high school behind and start our own memories. In retrospect, we matured during junior year. We had our mindset on growing up back when we thought, hey, I don't want to be a sophomore anymore. The old juvenile jokes just seemed a lot funnier when we were a freshman, but not anymore. So today, graduating from Morton East is a true honor. At Morton, we're not spoon-fed. Instead, we're pushed to take initiative and do what we had to do to achieve our goals. For some, this meant taking AP classes for a higher education. For others, it meant excelling at their clubs, being the champions of their sport. It meant getting a job to help their family, as well as work to pursue higher aspirations. It meant just graduating. So, we honored the memory, the growth, and the work of junior year. For this was the vital building block to our high school career that has now come to an end. Thank you everyone, and thank you more please. Good evening parents, family, friends, faculty members, and administrators. As we proudly sit here waiting for the big moment when all the diplomas are handed out, I want everyone to know that it is not only the class of 2011 who is graduating today. We are all graduates. We graduate every day, for it is a process that goes on until the last day of our lives. Grasping that, will you make all the difference. And now, as we complete our high school careers, welcome to senior year. The halls we once walked will empty of our footsteps, laughter, and voices during passing periods. We've come to the final stage, and now it's time to walk across it. This is it. ACTs no longer matter. Our college search is done. These years are now behind us. Our day has finally come. We worked our tails off during these past four years, and it has definitely paid off. Undoubtedly, each of us uniquely remembers senior year. I remember it as a great success. Our rugby team became state champions. Yeah. Our soccer team took the Pepsi showdown. Yeah. And we had Operation Prom Night, which was followed by a fun-filled day. I know that all this seems so far away, but wherever we go, we must go with determination and devotion. This is not the end, it is the beginning. We say goodbye to outstanding teachers, to memorable moments, and we welcome the beginning of the rest of our lives. We were the leaders and role models of this school, so let us now continue to lead our community. I truly believe that we have all come this far because we are from Cicero. We know what it's like to work hard, to challenge ourselves, and to come together to put aside our differences and to strive for success. This is our home and will always be our home. As a class, let us promise ourselves that we will go out into the world, succeed, and return to our community and show everyone that we made it. Let us make this promise. Please, we can do it. We started off our high school careers in 2007, and now we are ending them in 2011. We are one lucky bunch. 7-Eleven are our years, our numbers, and just our luck. No one can stop us from achieving our best. We are the best of the best. So class of 2011, are you up for the test? Yay! Yeah. Yeah.